Hi, welcome to PT Dance Videos. Today we're going to be talking about what your central nervous system is and how it affects fatigue. First, let's discover what your central nervous system is. Your central nervous system are the nerves in your brain and your vertebra. Your brain sends information from the brain through the vertebra out to your body. So the nerves in your brain and your vertebra is called your central nervous system. Please note this is also the place where your body receives information. Let's talk about your peripheral nervous system. Once the information leaves your brain and channels down through your central nervous system's vertebra, it will now leave and exit the vertebra into what we call the peripheral nervous system that now transfers the message from your central nervous system to the particular part of your body that's affecting or receiving information from that same area channeling information back up through your central nervous system to your brain. Now, how does this affect exercise and how does exercise affect your central nervous system? Let's say for example that on Monday, we're training legs. Tuesday, we're training back and biceps. Wednesday, we're training chest and tries. And Thursday, we're training shoulders. What's happening is, on the different days of the week, different muscles are being activated. But the, what we've got to also realize is that when you train legs on Monday, Tuesday, your legs are getting a rest. Wednesday, your legs are getting a rest. And Thursday, your legs are getting a rest. And this is the same for every other muscle in the day. So, as you try and exercise one muscle, that muscle must be stimulated somehow. So, the message leaves your brain, channels down your vertebra through what we call the central nervous system, exits through your peripheral nervous system into the actual muscle of the leg telling it to contract. So this is how that muscle gets stimulated through your central nervous system, out through your peripheral nervous system. Now when that message comes back up, it channels back up the same pathway. So now that we understand that, now let's have a look at how your central nervous system gets fatigued. Over here we have one muscle being activated and another muscle being activated. So on one day you've got legs training, lower body, then upper body. The next day you've got lower body, the next day we've got upper body. What happens is that when one muscle is being activated, the other one's getting a rest. But every muscle in your body has that information channeled to it from your central nervous system. So different peripheral nerves will activate different muscles on different days. And when that muscle gets a rest, those peripheral nerves get a rest. But the one thing that gets activated every single day is your central nervous system. Your central nervous system activates this muscle. Then while this muscle is getting a rest, your central nervous system activates that muscle. Then it activates this muscle, then that muscle. And every single day of your life, that central nervous system is being activated. And when those different muscles are getting a rest, your central nervous system doesn't. Now your central nervous system has a blood supply. It has a nutrient supply. And if you are consistently being used, it also has wear and tear. It gets fatigued. It too needs a rest. So if you are a serious competitor and a bodybuilder that doesn't like taking a day off, I challenge you to this. Take three or four days off, completely relax. Come back in a training and I promise you, you are going to be stronger. Why? Not because your muscle has had a rest, but it's your nerves that activate that muscle tissue. Your nerves are now back to being strong and powerful and your nerves can activate that muscle tissue and it can fire its nervous impulse 
and activate that muscle more efficiently. And now that muscle is going to have more fires, more contracting, and it's going to be able to contract at a better pace. It's going to be more stronger and more powerful. Now, if you're not an advanced athlete, your muscle tissue is going to have too much for a rest and your strength is going to go backwards. But sometimes, at the end of each year, when it's time for me to have a rest, I'll go away on holiday and I don't want to have a rest. I force myself to have a rest. But every time I come back, I come back stronger. And I get reminded why. 